some tiramisu. Oh, see, so I was driving here. I was like, you know what? I really want some tiramisu. And I was like, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I want to get some tiramisu. It'll be awesome. And I started driving. I was like, shit. I just totally remember. I got my wisdom teeth pulled. Great. Which sucks. Uh, so you guys, I'm hoping you guys know what tiramisu is. There's actually a place in Edmonton here, which is, uh, oh god, I just told you where I live. Nice, no, so yeah, I do live in Edmonton, but uh, there's a place in Edmonton called Tiramisu, and I go there for Tiramisu, and it's absolutely delicious. Um, the first time I actually had Tiramisu was probably last year, I think. Um, I got invited out for for some sushi with, with uh, some friends at work, and after that, we're like, yeah, let's, we kind of want some dessert, so let's go find some dessert. So we went to this chocolate place first, and we got in there, and they were just closing right off the bat. So like, oh man, this sucks. So everybody's like, let's go get some tiramisu. And I was like, uh, okay, I have no idea what tiramisu is, but they say it's delicious. So we went there, and oh my goodness, did I ever fall in love with tiramisu? It is, oh, it was so 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 good. Absolutely love tiramisu. Um, <laughs> but yeah, off that food topic, that's going to make me hungry. Um, what are your guys' plans for the weekend? What do you guys got planned? My plans is I will be helping a buddy out with uh, doing an engine swap uh, this Saturday and Sunday, I believe. Maybe even tonight, I'm not too sure, but we'll see. We'll see how the day goes. Um, and I have no idea where I am, but okay, cool. We'll... Uh, figure out how to get out of here and some oh I'm way up north sorry north part, north part of the city damn I feel scared <laughs> no I guess um, we all from the south side and from well, a lot of people from the city actually say think that and they say that the north side of the city is really really bad it's dangerous this and that and um, I will agree that to uh, to a point really um, the south side can be somewhat dangerous but it's you know what all depends on what you do what kind of people you hang out with right that's what it is oh but the one thing is, so i went shopping today um for foods that i can actually consume um, and i got myself lots of oikos yogurt i got this coconut o oikos yogurt which my buddy recommended me or recommended it to me from work and oh my goodness is it ever delicious <laughs> i went out and got uh four coconut ones uh, four apple rhubarb. What else did I get? Uh, four key lime and four honey ones. And oh man, that yogurt is absolutely delicious. It's, I think I had I had four today actually. Uh, while I was watching Moogle, while I was watching Transformers, the extin extinction one, this newest one. And I gotta say that movie is not that good, honestly. Um, and I feel like there's gonna be another one after that. But I don't know. It seems like those movies got worse, uh, worse, worse, and worse. So, uh, what do you guys think of those uh, Transformers movies? Yes, no, maybe so. Were they good? Were they bad? Honestly, I'll, this one was kind of like I was kind of like dozing off during it uh, while I was watching it. So I guess I wasn't that interested. Um, one movie I did watch again uh, this uh, day before yesterday uh, was Focus, the new one with uh, Will Smith. And uh, I don't know who the other girl is, but that, that blonde girl, which is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, ooh, Burger Baron. Uh, Burger Baron is actually really, really good uh, little burger shop. Honestly, I think that people use it probably for money laundering, but it is really, really good. They're like kind of like they're they're, they're just these homemade. Uh, Seem like they're homemade at birth. They're so delicious. Hmm. I've never actually been in this part of town. Weird. Hmm. I kind of want to find, uh, I want to go to this one area where there's massive ass houses. Or probably good six, seven, if not more million dollars. And that's actually a lot for Edmonton. Uh, most of our price, house prices here range, range anywhere from about uh, three to 
let's say average 700,000. Um, you can get in the, there's a lot of errors you can get into like that. 758, 900,000, one million dollar price range. Oh, there's a G, GDR? Or an Eclipse? Ah, uh, just an Eclipse. God damn, from far away. Uh, behind me there's an Eclipse GT and it's all white and it has this, uh, that black, uh, black part in the middle where the, uh, where the front appears. I was like, ooh, from far away it's like, oh, it looks like a white R35. I was like, also like, nope, it's just a Mitsu. That shitty Mitsu. No, nothing against Mitsus, but they're pretty damn shitty. The only car, honestly, I would buy with a front Mitsu uh, were, would be the old Evos. Like, Evo 7, 8, 9. I will not buy the Evo 10. Hell no. Why? Because look. So, yes, whatever you guys can make the post equation that they're rally cars, they're really powerful, they're really fast, blah, 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 this, that. Uh, but okay, cool. They have all wheel drive, they have 300 horsepower. Good. And uh, they're here. Let's say you, you want to get the dual clutch, dual clutch one. 54 grand. For a bunch of shitty ass cheap plastic on the inside. Like, honestly, like, spend 54 grand, yes, I get in the time you get 300 horsepower or whatever, uh, all wheel drive control, or all wheel control, this, that, a dual clutch uh, transmission, and supposedly it's really good, it's a, it's a really fun car to drive. It's really good, it's really, really fast. But 54 grand? For a piece of plastic on the inside, like, come on, I can go and buy 54 grand. Let's see, um, I can probably get a 335 uh, XI Beamer. Uh, I can get in the uh, maybe two year old. Uh, oh, I can probably get an M3 for that kind of money, probably two years old or so. Um, I can for 50. Oh, god, for 54, I can get an. 2000 and probably 2010 C63. Um, I can probably push it as far as 2000, uh, 2009, maybe 2010 E63. Easily. And I was like, you know what? You're paying there. I can understand you're paying 54 grand, even if it's used or whatever. But you get luxury. You got leather everywhere. You got nice build quality. You got lots of power. Yes, no all wheel control. Whatever, no all wheel drive. But you got whatever, rear wheel drive. You have tons of power, lots of luxury, everything's quiet, everything's pristine, everything's built top notch. You got leather everywhere, you got wood, you got carbon fiber, whatever you want to have. Um, but I mean like, okay, so I bought this car, um, and I paid mid 30s for it, and it was, uh, and you know, it has got plenty of power, it's got all wheels, all wheel drive, it's got leather everywhere, it's, it's pretty much decked out. Um, then like a few weeks later, my buddy goes, oh yeah man, I got a Evo X, GSR, well, you got it. You bought the MR actually, yeah. So you paid like 50 plus 50, 50 grand brand new. Um, I think 50, I think you paid 56 all in it, I think, for maybe 57. I was like, god damn, so you just spent almost 60 grand on a car, which is, yes, okay, cool. Faster off the line than mine, uh, whatever, but it's, it's faster than mine, cool. Uh, but if you drive in the city, you'll hear every single little rattle, this and that. Uh, you drive on the highway, you won't to hear anybody, you won't to hear anything. If you drive in discomfort, this and that. It's like, you'll hit everything. You, any pothole you hit in Edmonton, you'll break your back pretty much. Um, and then also the point is, so I bought this car and I was like, you know what, I love it. You know what, all my friends from Santa Fe loved it because it's decked out, it's luxury, this and that. Um, then with my buddy, I went to the car show. I was like, okay, cool, my buddy bought an Evo. Let me, let me uh, sit in the Evo MR, um, which is at the car show. I signed it, I was like, what the hell? No power seats? No, I'm sure some of them do have power seats probably. This one didn't, this one was priced at 53. I was like, what the hell? And it was all cheap, plastic or people. So it was there for like, I think two many boats inside we went there on the second day. And there was already scratches all over the dash, plastics everywhere, everything was so cheap. So I was like, what the hell? You're paying. 50 plus grand for a car that looks like a freaking piece of plastic that came out of the trash. No offense people who have Evos, they're great rally cars, are great track cars, whatever. But for that kind of money, no way. I think if they price it like in 
let's say high 30s, 40 like low 40s. Then I'll make a. But then I think that'll be a pretty good card again. But freaking 54 up to max probably about 60 grand. All the taxes. That's just ridiculous. Like come on. You can get such better cards that you can you can get an M3. You can get. Um, uh, you see, you can get a C63, you can get an, uh, an older RS4, you can get an S4 for that kind of money. It's like, come on, what are people thinking these days? Yeah, I understand, you know, I'll get this, get that, but at the same time, it's kind of like the people who, uh, who buy those uh, 2000, 2000 Civics or 1990 Honda Civic, and then they put more money or twice as much money than the car's worth in freaking body kits, underglow, stickers, massive spoiler, this massive fart cannon from Canadian Tire, or wherever these guys get it from. <laughs> well, it's not from Canadian Tire, but it's probably like a magnifold, magnifold muffler or whatever to use. And it's like, holy shit, man. You were going 20 kilometers an hour, yet you sound like your, your car is going to explode. And it um, sounds like you have 50 gears. The Fast and Furious lifestyle, right? Uh, but you know, one of my friends who I used to go to school with, he, he used to have a. I'm not sure what year it was, sick was, but it was, it was pretty old. It was a 90, 90 something, or maybe just a straight 2000. But man, that thing was never clean. And he's the type of person, you know, he likes uh, tuning his car, he says he likes putting work on his car. And this guy's gone through a lot of different cars. Uh, but whenever like, I saw him, uh, and he, uh, I checked out his Civic, and it was this nice. Nice clean red color, it was lowered. I was surprised how low he got it with that full wheel lock too, with no scraping or anything. Um, I think it didn't sound loud, it sounded pretty nice, it was clean, it had just uh, nice trims on it, and it was just, it was a well done car. I was like, that I can understand. You know, you buy an older car, you can uh, fix the paint, you can repaint it, whatever. Tune a little bit, you can put nice rims on it, nice little exhaust, that's it, you know. Uh, and it looks good, you know, it actually looks very, very good, very clean. And we see this guy, he has a blue Evo XGSR with TE37s. And I'm sure the car is fun to drive, I'm sure it's very quick. But he probably, let's say if you bought a brand new, probably pay, let's say, 47 grand for it, plus the rims, plus whatever other, other mods he has on it. I saw he had a custom spoiler as well, so plus that. And that car is going to deteriorate in value like crazy. But you know what? People have that money to burn. Why not, right? Oh shit! Photo reader. Yep. Man, but yeah, that's people and cars. But see, I would, uh, I would make if I had that kind of money. If I had tons of money, I would make that one choice, and the car that I would buy uh, and tune the shit out of it would probably be an MK4 Supra or. Uh, an Evo 9 MR or an R34. R34 Skyline. Yeah, one of those. Those are also always nice. But honestly, I think I'll probably think twice about it and I'll we'll just get myself a, a quick German car, which I can work on that as well, um, or whatever else uh, is on the market. See, when I was first starting looking at for a car like this, I was like, no, I want something German. I want something that's reliable. I want something that's a yeah, luxury and is quick. Um, a lot of cars, of course, they did not have a 60 grand budget. They did not have a 50 grand budget. Um, I had, let's say, the mid, mid 30 grand, mid 30s budget. I was like, you know what? I can do this. I can afford some of these cars. So I started looking, and oh, I found my one of my favorite cars. I found a 20, 2010, I think, or 2011 Audi A4 Avant um, S Line. Two liter turbo and it was just I was like you know what I want this thing so bad I didn't care ooh Viper 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 those are nice yeah uh, but yeah I didn't care about how much power it had or whatever or whatever it was I was like you know I love this car I always loved wagons for some reason absolutely always loved them so I found that but it was the Saskatchewan and that was a good 10 hour drive away and it was used from an owner. I was like, I kind of don't know if I want to spend that kind of money on a car, which is from somebody else. 
yes, this car was from somebody else too, but this was a certified pre-owned, which gave me four years of free and warranty, which I was, I was like, awesome. So I got four years of warranty on this car when I bought it, which is sweet. Oh, shit. And house. No. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if I could get in a Vaughn, like, uh, and this, if the, actually if they had S4 Vons here, uh, or if they had RS4 wagons here, oh my god. A kill to get an RS4 wagon here. Uh, it's one of my most loved cars of today. Uh, even like, a, or a, before that, I'd probably pick an RS6 wagon. If you guys don't know what they are, look up a 2014 Audi RS6 wagon. Absolutely a massive car. And it's a, it's, it's a dream car for me, that's for sure. But knowing North America, they won't even bring them here, which sucks. And I don't think any of them import those here unless they're, I think, 15 years old? I think that's what it is. I think that's the stipulation. Might be wrong, but I'd love to get one of the Euro wagons here. See, the, the only car right now which is a wagon which they did bring here is an E63 wagon. And with that, I would buy that in a heartbeat. So I think we should start a charity fund for uh, Andre's E63 fund. <laughs> It'll be a long fun, but the car is fully loaded. I have to spend probably a good 140, I think, on it. Um, I could probably get a used one, which I've seen actually a few used ones in the markets. They probably go for about 120, maybe 112 around there. So that's not too bad. But I would, uh, I would dish that kind of money out for for a wagon like that. You know, and, and why? Some people might ask me, why do you want a wagon? You know what? Why don't you just get a sports car? You get this or that. I was like, yeah, you know, I can get a sports car. I can get a flashy car. For 120 grand, I can get a used F430. I can get a, a Maserati Gran Turismo or a bunch of port. I can get a Porsche for that kind of money. I can get tons of cars for that kind of money. I can get a full loaded uh, M M3, a full loaded M4. I can get uh, the used Gallardo for that kind of money. I can get tons of cars. You can probably get a Bentley for that kind of money. But here's the nice thing about it. You know, I love my cars and I love driving my cars fast. Oh, what the hell happened here? Everybody's slowing down to shit. Uh, oh. That guy ran out of gas. Nice. Um, screw you. But yeah. It's like, you know, I could get, uh, like I'm going to say, an F430. Maybe even, I don't know, I think old McLaren, like 12 Cs. Used market for them, like my buddy says, is gone to shit because there is no used market on them. And they can probably pick one up for about 150, 160. Here. So, uh, but, so why would I go with a, way, with a wagon right? You get a sports car like that. And it's flashy, it's quick, it's much quicker, whatever. Here's my thing about it. If I get a car like that, can't drive it in the winter. Uh, it's gonna be tough driving in the, in the rain, even though I can drive in the rain, no problems. Uh, how's it gonna be when I go to the mountains or if I want to go snowboarding or if I want to go uh, on a road trip with a few friends Whatever it's yeah, I can take, I can take two cars or whatever My nose just got itchy uh, Oh my nose is itchy Why am I my nose itchy? <laughs> oh. But yeah, um, yeah, you know you can take people say yeah take two cars uh, People should have their own cars or whatever. Yeah, I know when people should have their own cars, but it's always fun to get four people in the car and just go on a road trip go somewhere or whatever and if I have let's say if I have a Porsche uh, like a 911 Turbo well 911 Turbo is actually going to be a little bit too expensive unless I get an old model um, but let's say yeah get a Porsche get an old Ferrari get an old Lambo of course it's going to be really flashy in the city it's going to be very very flashy I can go very quick um, but how many tickets am I going to get uh, even if I'll probably be going 50 or if I'm going to be doing the speed limit 16 to 60 zone I am sure cops will look at me like what the heck is the, I'm, I'll get so many tickets with that close kind of cars <coughs> but let's say if I look at a wagon and I get myself let's say a, a silver or a black or white E63 wagon awesome the car looks great to, to an untrained eye car looks like oh it looks like a station wagon it's the mercedes station wagon cool cool it's a mercedes station wagon. that's all it is 
people won't see that how much they won't know how much power it has or this and that and those things come with I'm not sure how much exactly but I think up towards uh, I think 500 horsepower and around 500 foot pounds of torque I'm not a hundred percent sure but I think it's around there I think it's 540 550 I'm not percent sure don't uh, quote me on that because I'm not too sure about it uh, but look it's all-wheel drive I got lots of room I can throw snowboard in the back, I can throw skis in the back, I can throw some camping equipment in the back. I can go on a road trip, be comfortable, four seats, big trunk, and all the drive. I'll have a 6.2 liter V8 underneath my foot. And the car looks like a little looks like a little sleek sleeper. That's it. Cops will go drive by, like whatever, you know, it's a wagon, cool. That's it. It's not flashy, which is nice. So that's my one thing. It kills lots of birds with the one stone, pretty much. It kills more than two birds with a stone. Because then I can drive it in winter. I can do everything with it, which is why. That's why I'm leaning towards an e uh, an AMG wagon. And if they had a C63 wagon, that would be good. That would be a nice pick. But if I get a wagon, I want a little bit bigger. Ooh, excuse me. I'm getting tired. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? What do you? What is your guys' opinion about wagons? Like, specifically, have a look at at the E6 2014 or 2013, whatever 2012. Don't look any lower than 2013. I think actually, 2013 or 2014 Mercedes E63 AMG wagon, or look up at the 2014 Audi RS6. The RS6 actually only comes in a wagon, which is awesome. But look up at those two cars, and I'll probably link a picture. I'll put a link to, to the pictures in the comments below um, and tell me your honest opinion what do you guys think about these uh, are they good looking cars are they classy cars what would you would you guys if you guys had that kind of money what, what car would you buy and why and would you buy this car and why uh, make sure but make sure to uh, like subscribe comment in the video and uh, check out my Facebook page Everything gets posted onto there. My updates is on there, so you'll know when next videos are coming out, um, and you can ex uh, suggest new topics and everything like that. So, but yeah. Anyways, you guys uh, take it easy and have a good weekend. Yeah.